Hello guys, as you guys saw in the title, we're gonna be unboxing this Xbox 360 right here, which I only bought for 50 bucks. So let's see if it's gonna be worth it in 2022. We're gonna review this thing, and we also got three exclusive games, so let's see if this works. Right off the back, we got this box, which is really not in its best shape, and before they used to call this Xbox Live. But it's no longer called Xbox Live, so let's open this. What awaits? Yes, these are the three games we're gonna get. Uh, we got actually Halo 3, Connect Adventure, and Project Gotham Racing. More on this later. Next, we have the power. And yeah, we got the power supply right here, power box right here. We got this remote right here, which is out of its place that's what i'm gonna say out of its place um its contents are right now everywhere which is not fun at all uh, this is such a mess nope deal with this mess later next up we have is um a standard definition av cables i believe that's what you call them power box of course we got the power box this, uh, this, this is so tight uh, this power box is in good condition where's the controller is really not in its good shape not in a good shape next we have is the supply chain for the power bank and this is how I like to call it that and the connect which I have not seen for like about uh, seven years and this for fifty dollars is really not bad I mean it's still in a, not the best shape but that's a good that's good next up we have the Xbox itself so these are the contents you basically get for $50. Xbox 360 console, a controller, power box, a connect, and three games, which I think are worth it, but it's really worth it. In 2022 with the Xbox Series X and PS5, um, I don't think so it's really worth buying this, but for $50, bucks, i am going to say this is a win-win. First game we get is the Kinect Adventures. So this game is what you get with the combo of fifty dollars and let's see the CD is well on this. The CD is well of course. Manuals. Got it. The manual um for fifty dollars you mostly don't get a manual inside but you got it as well. Next is Halo 3, which I'm gonna say is, is the best what I got for all these games here. Halo 3 is the best what I got. Like, look at this for $50 with a console, connect, and everything that's good. So, this is what I don't like. Um, CD, no, not, not in great condition. But the good thing is, you get like both of these. You also have the multiplayer with it and OS ODST. Next up is Project Gotham Racing. Um, so this is basically the game. Um, so for fifty dollars, it's really worth it. Um, you get a Halo game, which is a shooter and a racing. Controller on the other hand is really not in its great condition, like it is really out of place. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can contact the seller, but at this point I don't know. Like, I waited a long time to get this, to have this switch here, and this is definitely not worth it for a controller. Um, let's do some troubleshooting.
All right, that was some harsh troubleshooting there. Um, we got to get this together with tape, also put in a AAA battery. Let's see if this works. Of course, I tested it out. Nope. It's... There we go. After putting on some tape, it actually s finally works. There we go. It finally works guys, so that really was a long time of troubleshooting and the sun is already going down. But this worked, the controller works, I am really proud of that. But this, I noticed that um, the joysticks, um, the top part of it, uh, the top coating of it is actually not there. So yeah, that's messed up. The wires, there's nothing to review for the wires over here. Um, the wires are probably working. Um, the, but the seller told me it was working. So I wish I had got an HDMI instead of uh, AV. But um, at least we got something. Next up is the connect. And the connect is a connect. I love that they use these, uh, whatever you call these. I really don't know what you call them. This is the Connect overall. Um, I don't know what type of video. I don't know anything about the Connect right now. I have used it in my life. That's the. I don't know. I am showing you that, but you, know, you guys just want to scan that. Yeah, that's it. That's the Connect. Uh, Next up is the mighty fine Xbox 360. I have, um, yeah, I am really surprised for 50 bucks. The console, a walking console. Yeah, it, the buy to, the seller told me it's walking, so it probably is working, and I believe him. Um, plus, every, plus the connect is really worth it, and also three games that include a Halo. Um, I am really blown away 50 bucks somebody selling this for 50 bucks is it's just insane like it's it is in a good condition and all but 50 bucks that's that's my fine work uh, that's how it looks like standing that's a mighty fine xbox 360 right there Xbox 360 specs are as follows, um, 250 gigs of uh, space, yeah, um, it also has internal Wi-Fi capability which should have, for then was a big deal, um, it also has, I don't know, it's a console, what else supposed to have, RAM? 4 to 8 gigs of RAM, something like that. Um, I really did not take a really good deep dive into this one, but it has the ability to play videos also. Now, does the thing work? Does the Xbox 360 work? Let's see. Oh, yes, it does. Oh yeah, that's cool, that's good, that's good, that's good, it works. As you can see, it does work perfectly, flawlessly, and this is the control I'm using. So, it's time to test the games now. And this interface is new to me. Xbox Live, um, now it's called the Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, things change. Alright, hello campaign, OSET, put that in there. And nope, the white, the white. Oh god, nope. Oh no, come on. There we go. Let's see if this works. Don't worry about the volume here. Reading, reading, reading. Oh, I gotta say in some settings here. So we have just started running Halo and Halo looks walkable. It works, yeah. Halo works perfectly. 
find them to restore health. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so, hello works, yes. Yeah, that's good. The home screen looks quite new to me. Take the disc out. And just the disc. The buttons don't seem to work. That's bad. Oh, wait, it does. You need just a little hard pulling here. Alright, but that's all in all good. So, is it worth it to buy the Xbox 360 in 2022? No. But for $50, yes. Price on eBay. Price on Amazon. Price on GameStop. But I don't think so you are gonna get the Kinect anymore. I don't think so the Kinect will be available to you anymore. I don't think so that's a thing anymore. Kinect won't be available. But I'm not recommending you buying the Xbox 360. Um, because mostly of the game. So yeah, I don't really recommend you buying this. And the Xbox Live is just not good. But yeah. So that is where we end it. Um... With a few things, Xbox 360, is this worth it? I bought it. Is this good? It works well. Yes, it does work well. $50 work well. Few issues with the button, each of the buttons. Um, and the controller looks fine. As best, um, the back part is broken though. Did not test the connect out yet. I will do that off video. And there's no red ring of death which is the best part of it no red ring of death that was a total nightmare and it cost a lot of money for microsoft uh, but that is where i will end it guys i hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe share and that's it subscribe for more bye guys